Welcome to this presentation on switch mode drivers, part of Osram Opto Semiconductor's LED Fundamental Series. In this presentation, we will look at how switch mode drivers work, switch mode driver topologies, and benefits of switch mode drivers in LED circuits and systems. Like any electronic component, LEDs should also be driven properly for improved efficacy, better reliability, and longer lifetime. Because some of the fundamental variations, such as VF mismatch between LEDs and color variation within the same bin, more care needs to be taken when deciding what type of driving method is suitable for LEDs in a particular application. Some of the key parameters that play a major role in selecting the proper driving method are expected junction temperature of the LED, expected VF mismatch between LEDs and or LED strings, color accuracy required, and whether dimming is required. As mentioned earlier, understanding the electrical, optical, and thermal characteristics of an LED is required to properly select the driving method for an LED circuit or system. An IV characteristic of an LED is similar to that of a standard diode, meaning LEDs should be driven with a constant current source. Also, optical characteristics such as color shift versus LED current and thermal characteristics such as VF and color shift versus junction temperature play key roles in selecting the proper driving method. When selecting the proper driving method for an LED application, only considering electrical characteristics of an LED is not sufficient. Electrical, optical, and thermal characteristics should be considered to select the appropriate driving method for an LED system. There are three typical methods for driving LEDs. Commonly used driving options are discrete component-based drive, linear driver-based drive, and switch mode driver-based drive. This presentation covers switch mode driver-based drive. Before starting with a switch mode regulator, please take a look at the table on this slide to understand the advantages and disadvantages of each driving option. The biggest advantages of a discrete based drive are low cost and simplicity, while the major disadvantages of a switch mode based driver are the complexity of the design and the cost associated with it. At present, when it comes to LED systems, Efficacy is one of the key measures that make LED systems more attractive compared to traditional lighting systems. The efficacy of an LED system can be improved by optimizing electrical, thermal, and optical efficiencies of the overall system. This presentation reviews how an optimized driver can be used to help improve the electrical efficiency of an LED system. Switch mode regulators offer the advantage of more efficient power conversion especially in high power applications. A switch mode regulator takes a small portion of energy at a time from the input voltage source and transfers it to the load or device being driven. An electrical switch, such as a transistor, is used along with a controller that regulates the rate at which the switch is turned on and off. In a switch mode driver, the driver IC is the brain of the power supply. Basically, it generates the PWM signal that turns the switch on and off so the output is maintained at a specified value. There are four different topologies in which a switch mode driver can be operated. They are buck mode, boost mode, buck boost mode, and flyback mode. Next, we will analyze each topology in greater detail. This example illustrates the simple circuit diagram of a buck-type switch mode regulator design. 
The primary function of the driver IC is to generate the control signal which turns the switch on and off. When the switch is closed, there will be two current loops, shown in green. When the switch is open, current flows in the direction shown in red. Buck mode regulation is used when the input voltage or source voltage is higher than the expected output voltage. For instance, if a standard 24 volt supply is used to drive an LED system in which four 1 watt high power LEDs are connected in series, there needs to be a buck mode constant current driver in place to drive the LEDs. There are a number of IC manufacturers that focus on LED drivers. The brain of a power supply is the driver IC. Shown on the right is the schematic of a typical application circuit using a Supertex HV9910B, a buck driver IC. In many cases, the same driver IC can be configured to be operated in buck, boost, or single-ended primary inductance converter configurations. The arrangement of the components is what changes in these different configurations. The basic components for all modes stay the same. The boost topology is the second most commonly used configuration. In boost mode operation, when the switch is closed, current flows through the inductor while the capacitor supplies the load. When the switch opens, stored energy in the inductor releases, the capacitor charges, and the load is supplied. Shown here is a simple boost topology schematic using a Supertex HV9911. Please note that the circuit enclosed in dotted lines is not part of the boost topology. Ideally, boost topology is used when input voltage is lower than the output voltage. However, due to the circuit component arrangement in boost topology, there will be a direct current flow into the load when the input goes above the output voltage. This is not desired as there will be no current regulation in this situation. To address this loophole in boost configuration, SEPIC configuration is used. In a SEPIC configuration, the input voltage can either be higher or lower than the output voltage. Please note that there are two inductors in this configuration compared to only one inductor on the three previously explained modes. The addition of the inductor may slightly increase the cost of the driver. One of the key differences between boost and SEPIC is the use of two inductors, which may add cost to the system, but is very commonly used in portable battery operated applications. An ideal example for SEPIC configuration would be a device that has a single LED with a VF of around 3.2 volts and is operated with three AA or AAA batteries. When the batteries are new, a buck mode operation is required and when the batteries drain below 3.0 volts, a boost mode operation is required. Buck boost is the third commonly used topology. It is also called inverter topology because the output polarity is inverted. The operation is such that when the switch is on, current flows through the inductor and energy is stored in the inductor. During this period, the load is supplied by the capacitor. When the switch opens, stored energy in the inductor is released and the capacitor charges up while the load is also supplied. As an example, a National Semiconductor LM22670 ADJ in buck boost mode operation is shown. The flyback is the fourth commonly used topology. It can be configured for single or multiple outputs. In single output configuration, when the switch is on, the current flows through the primary side of the transformer. During this cycle, the load is supplied by the capacitor. When the switch is turned off, 
the voltage at the primary side is reflected on the secondary side, which causes the diode to conduct, supplying the load as well as charging the capacitor. This slide shows the typical configuration of a multiple output flyback topology. For more information on multiple output configuration, please consult the LED Fundamental AC-DC Power Supplies. All four of the topologies explained can be operated in either continuous conduction mode or discontinuous conduction mode, depending on the current through the inductor. In continuous conduction mode, inductor current never reaches zero, but in a discontinuous conduction mode operation, the inductor current does reach zero. In conclusion, there are four different switch mode driver topologies and the flyback topology is the most versatile and widely used because of the flexibility it offers. Irrespective of what topology is used, switch mode driver based current regulation is much more efficient than discrete or linear based regulation. On the negative side, switch mode drivers are more complex compared to a simple resistor or linear driver based design and can also add cost to the overall system. Please refer to the LED Fundamental AC-DC Power Supplies on this website for additional information. Thank you for viewing this presentation by Osram Opto Semiconductors.